Hi there, Jay Play, uh, back with Call of Cthulhu The Wasted Land. I'm actually recording this one quite a way in advance because trying to do it last minute like I did last time didn't work because, well, I checked on the upload when it was 25% of the way through and it still had 400 minutes to go, so I think I'm going to have to upload this with plenty of time to spare. Anyway, the same old Lovecraft quote that always seems to be at the bottom when you resume. And Captain Hill. Oh no, not Captain Hill, he's just up at the top right of the screen, never mind. Brightmare instead. I have been examining the walking corpses we have destroyed. They are indeed the dead, reanimated. A notorious Canadian regimental doctor stationed in Flanders by the name of Herbert West has been experimenting with such serums. I do like Herbert West reanimator. I may have mentioned that already, but it's my favourite Lovecraft that I've actually read. One of our boys made these blasted things. Not quite. Another investigator was sent to ex intercept this Dr. West. However, his serum only works on fresh bodies. These corpses are rotten, so I fear a more sinister mind is improving on the work of Dr. West. As we suspected, this must be Cowell's handiwork. Who else has a more sinister mind? Cowell? Is that a German name? His origin is unknown. His full title is Dr. Cowell, another perversion of a medical man who I believe is the leader of the cult of the Awakened. A monster in the body of a man, his evil has killed many and his accursed nature knows no boundaries. More aura, walking corpses all around us. Oh, it's still going. It appears Dr. Cowell is indeed hiding something from us. We must proceed further into this crypt. There are ancient carvings down here that I must examine for one turn that... <laughs> Sorry, it's fine. Those, it, it gets into character and it gets talking and stuff. And ancient carvings that I must examine for one turn precisely. <laughs> that I believe will shed some light on Cal and the cult's activities. Alright, so we need to head... I wish you could zoom out more and get an overview of the map as a whole. We need to head down here. This is as far as I got in the game, by the way. I, I decided to restart and do the Let's Play from this mission. So which way do I want to go? That's probably the way out at the end. This is another of those multi-step things, I think. Maybe if I go this way, to avoid the mustard gas, down and round here. Yeah, okay. I think that's the strategy sorted. So... Carl, is that? Oh, that's twenty-two. Oh, Overwatch. I didn't think about that. Um, I just wanted to get here so you could, so you could attack him. I'll only have eighteen left anyway, so I might as well. Pretty much guarantee it. And I've got someone guarding this way, as it were, just in case anyone else pops up. Although I can't see anyone looking likely from there. Um, you, my good man? What does it look like? 35% chance to hit him. 41. 38. And I won't be able to Oh, I can use artil. I I assumed because I was indoors. No, I can't use it. Okay, that's probably for the best. I'll go for the further away guy. Slightly hard to hit, but he t he takes a lot more hits. So. He's the one I'm really worried about, to be honest. I almost forgot that I don't have enough to move and shoot twice. And then, as long as it hits, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, but there's the guy at the back who I just haven't been focusing on at all. Oh, uh, and I gave her heavier stuff, so now she can't take two shots in a turn at all. I thought I might have boosted her other stuff more. Uh, uh... I tried to put points in other things. 18%. 
33% and it will do more damage if it hits. So yeah, I'll go for this guy, even though the other one's more troublesome. He's an elusive fucker. <sighs> Unfortunately, this mustard gas is only a problem for me. It won't affect anyone else. Because they're all already dead. So, obviously. So if I shuffle forwards... Oh, damn it. Was I out of range before? You know what? I'm gonna... hop back here and see if I end up out of range for him still. That's gonna do no damage. It's not even worth it. So he is going to be the real bastard here. There's nothing Carl can do either, really. I can stick his head around the corner and get the get his handgun out, I guess. But I'm going to leave. What's her name? Emma just because um, she's not going to be doing much damage even if I do move in and I'd rather she had the stuff left to hit someone if they came near her and you back around the corner with your cosh out Luckily, they're all coming towards me. Um, I'm glad I've got Carl there standing guard, but it doesn't look like he's going to be entirely necessary anyway. Right, so you just go for the one near you. I don't have any faith in her to hit anyone who's further away. Captain Hill. Go for the one who's actually a danger. And then might as well hit the closest one as well. Or not. These Sid can take uh ah. Uh, well these guys I'm gonna try and put on the slightly tougher enemies. Because it's most important that they get wiped out before they can get in and start doing damage. Because they're pretty hard to hit once they get past a certain point. Right, Brightmere, can you shuffle forwards then? Yep. I might as well just start moving everyone forwards, seeing as we're out of range and stuff. Oh, that'll be still... Will I be able to attack? Yes. I was worried that I might have got him into range where he could be attacked without moving while not actually hitting them. Oh, this has been some terrible strategy. I've moved him too far forward. He's a target now. No one else can shoot the people who are going to be a threat to him. You just chill out there. Everyone else move forwards. And if I hopefully leave everyone with enough ammo now, or enough action points, sorry, to take a pot shot if anyone comes near them, then we should be fine. Not these guys at the back, but they're like 
it, you either, with with these guys you either have to move or shoot. They never have enough action points to do anything interesting anyway. Oh, I forgot about... I'd given her a special book. Her sanity is low. Does this go down with every encounter? Yes. Well, shit. How did her sanity get to 10? Does that not repair between... Between missions or something? I don't know. I assume you can't just go stand by a healing thing and get more sane as well. <sighs> See? Overwatch strats. <sighs> Feeling quite smart right now, actually. So, we've got two swings at him. If needed. Is there anyone else in the immediate vicinity who's going to cause problems? No. Not sure what these dead ends are about. I miss having the action points I had before. Um, I really need to... I think I'm just going to keep boosting base stats rather than uh, skills. Because skills progress in what I think of as a more logical way anyway. You know, if you use it, you get better at it. Um, so I could really do with increasing my action points, which is what would get me... Um, which is what would enable them to actually do more in each turn. So that's that's power and strength or something, wasn't it? Or power and will? I can't remember. Anyway, staying together as a group is the most important part. With any of this stuff. Were you there before? Did he just spawn or did I just not notice him? Either way. He did. And we've got some chap up there who is coming up to sneak up our rear. But otherwise I think we're fine. So you can get there easy. He won't have enough to... Uh, Overwatch though, so maybe I should have thought about that a bit more before I put him there. Likewise, if someone with a gun comes out, she can't attack them, but they can probably kill her because she does just have not very good health. I'm glad I boosted her armor though. I think I'd need to work more on... I, I'm going to move you first because you can probably go slightly further, yeah. Uh, I think I need to work more on mustard gas resist, poison resist, whatever they call it. Because that's something where Sid's the only one who's really strong. Although Sid is insanely strong, I don't understand how. Is this secretly a, a future plot point or something? He's going to turn out to not actually be human either. Which is why mustard gas does nothing to him. I hope not. Sid's our... Um, Sid's our noble hero. Him and his pigeon. Right. You're going to come up and just give this guy a clock. But not kill him, apparently. Or well, buggeration. And everyone else is just in a straight line. It's a 38% chance to hit. He's so close. 44... 41. Was that for the same damage? No. But I don't need that much damage for him anyway. To be honest, I'm going to go for this person slightly behind. Just hope for the best. Shit. Yeah, I want him dead. He's going to cause real problems otherwise. Um, and I guess the other one can go for the closer enemy. 
Everyone just standing in a line like this seems like a horrible way to uh, orchestrate a movement. Just putting his rifle straight through Brightmere's head there. Captain Hill needs to sort his boys out. They have a fucking awful strategy. That's it, Captain. You come up to the front of the pack. Remember, this is why they're all on this side, just so that the Captain can walk through unimpeded. There you go. If I had arranged them slightly more sensibly, he wouldn't have been able to do that. So I take it all back, Captain Hill. You're a prince to behold. And used up everyone's action points as well, which is nice. When I first saw that the zombies weren't taking damage from the mustard gas, I got uh, indignant for a second. I was like, Why? But how does that make sense? Of course it makes sense, James, you moron. Clear out these lightweight rabble first. Emma's just no fucking use if someone's not close range. But look how low her sanity is, I can't have her. Right, can she heal herself? No. If Brightmere comes up, can he counsel her? And will this use up the only use of the book there is? I don't know how this book works at all. I've never used it. So. Right. Swap their equipment. He's going to be terrible at this, I'm pretty sure. Right. Use book on hysteria with Emma. And it used it gave her the absolute minimum, but... Maybe it's not usable. You know what I mean? It's not uh, expendable. That would be cool. Uh, and makes sense, because it is a book. Okay, I'm not sure what waving a book about hysteria near someone does anyway. Does. Um, Alright, so her sanity is only 24 at best. Which is why she was so low. What does this do? Uh, if I go to the item swap thing. Costs 15 to 35 sanity to cast. Shit, I really need to get her sanity up. So that is a useless weapon for now, because if I use it, you know, it's going to do as much damage to me as it does to the enemy. So maybe let's not. Fucking Emma. I've just not yet come across a situation where she's useful. I'm sure she's a wonderful lady in her own right. But bloody hell, you don't want her on the battlefield. Can't take a hit. Can't shoot worth a damn. Okay, I did give her a shotgun and no one else, but... I possibly also should have not have sent her so far ahead, but I was thinking if she can get close up, take out the big guy, then... We can have the others do their thing. Oh no, I used up too much to <laughs> for anyone to actually shoot this guy, uh, which was one of the major parts of my strategy. Right. Brightmere, pot shot from there. Take two more steps forward. And then you can... There we go. Look at that action point management. It's 
It's almost like I've played this game. Alright, said you come up here, you're a star attraction. Newt, can you, if you take a step back? Nah, you can't squeeze one through there. Oh, I was just curious. Okay. You might as well move forwards if you can. And that's the end of that turn. <sighs> Carl, how bold are you feeling? How many action points? It would cost him all his action points to get up there, so maybe let's not do that. But his overwatch is going to screw you. Maybe I should just move everyone so that they're almost ready to pop round the corner and fuck that guy up. But not quite. Brightmere, you need to be up near the front here. Bloody path detection bullshit is useless. It's not useless, it's just also not good. Emma can come up here. And then if we leave our boys near the back, they can each take one more step forward and still have overwatch. Oh, I was hoping they'd make it round that corner that turn. Okay. This is it, boys. I just... I want to get him... taken out this turn. How are you so bad with a handgun? Come on, Carl. Sort your shit out. One damage. Still one damage. What sort of fucking gun have we given him that can only do one damage at this range? It's not like Emma firing a shotgun over like miles at once. Oh shit. Right. How long would it take her? 34, take away 4, so 30, so she'd only have 22 left to actually hit, so that's not enough to fire. So I guess I've got to put Brightmere in the line of fire as well. Bloody hell, Emma. Right, I'm really a bit worried about these guys. I'm going to need to get Carl to charge in and start bludgeoning him after this turn. Emma, you can go chill up there where you've still got enough to actually hit someone. You guys again, <laughs> shuffle forwards. So you're nearer where you need to be, but you have overwatch when this ugly motherfucker pops around the corner. Really glad they're going for Carl every time. And that they didn't kill him. That's pretty perfect. Good job, lads. Look at that, that's some proper military strategy there. And Carl's not dead. He can come in here. And beat this fucker. Now, before Brightmere goes in, do I want to consolidate the pack? I will a little bit. This is about where I got up to last time. I'll just go straight forward to useless little shit. 
Very interesting. Cal has uncovered incantations that have been here for many eons. He must be combining those with the serum in an unholy alliance of science and the occult. Are these carvings from before this church was even built? From before Christianity itself, indeed, or much older than that. What I think we're looking at is an... Ah, Professor Brightmere, so glad you could join me down here. Cal, you fiend, the game is up. Your little army of rotting corpses will not stop my vengeance. What does she need revenge for? Ah, more twins, this time the lovely gold twins. So like your sister in all ways but one. She is dead. Oh, well, I guess that's what she wants revenge for. Still, we'll soon fix that as this crypt will become your tomb. I have sealed the doors. Oh, I thought he meant he was going to bring the sister back to life, but no, no. He's like, well, you'll both be the same once you're both fucking dead. Cal's a dick. You wretched beast, so help me, I'll see you dead in her name. And as if that were not enough of a gift for you, I have a few more guests from Leng who have arrived. So while I'm busy with plans within plans, you'll be busy dying. Oh, bye forever. Sorry, I forgot that. Dear gods, spiders of Leng, a deadly foe who can shoot globules of a paralyzing web as well as possessing a savage bite. And we are trapped down here with them? Not quite. I have uncovered more than just the incantations. There is a mechanism to open a passage out of here. But, Miss Gold, you and I must activate them together. Why does it have to be those two? Once we start, we must keep it open until both of us have completed the sequence. Then the exit passage will open. So just the others aren't smart enough to remember the actual sequence. Miss Gold and I must split up and activate the mechanisms. Let us go. This big red button. It's like, oh, none of the rest of you all be intellectually capable of handling this. Oh. Thumping and shaking and... Does that mean there's a turn limit for the rest of this? This is where I got up to, which is why I knew you had to split up at some point, but it's kind of intimidating. So I've got one here, and was there one there? Right, well that can't be Emma, because she's useless with mustard gas. It's going to have to be Brightmere. Emma, if you hop up here. 32% 1 to 11. 29% 1 to 8, so the closest one. Well, I guess technically, yes, it is 1 to 11. Sid, you can come up here and be prepared to defend her. Um, Newt, you can start moving this way with Brightmere. Brightmere and Hill can go this way, I think. Partly because I want to... Um, if I have to make a break for it, I'd rather have those two nearer the door, because they're the two that will be the two that need to escape. Those two are the two that are the two. Oh, I really should have cleared out all the zombies before I got to this stage. I think everyone apart from Emma has a uh, med kit at least. Which will be necessary. Oh, they can fire spitballs. This is bullshit. Right, so can I get Carl up to heal Emma? And he just can't move this turn. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I can get Carl up to heal Emma. So, Emma, you... Might as well shoot full power. Sid... Yeah, heal Emma before she goes, I guess. He's going to spend all his time healing Emma, isn't he? He's my bloody favourite and all, and he's going to be a lackey. I could have got um, Carl up and... Oh no, I couldn't have got him to heal anyway. Oh Christ, there are so many bloody spiders around here. 
Right, Captain Hell. Um, I'm a bit worried by how much damage these things will take then, and this will do 5 to 8 damage. This will do 4 to 8. Pretty much gonna hit there. Okay, that's nice. But no one to hit this spitting mother. There are two of these big spitting motherfuckers. So those seem to be the ones that I need to take out first. Because the other ones will like they'll they'll use up our action points. Someone's going to need to keep healing Emma, just the whole time. Oh, I'm glad he went for the same one twice, because otherwise I was in real trouble. And he just keeps trying to hit them for action points. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I can get to him anytime soon either. Right. If I stab you in the back. Uh, it won't do enough damage. Fuck. I was thinking if I stab you in the back, I can step forwards and heal. You know what? I need to stop fucking about with worrying about him losing action points because he's losing action points any t every term anyway. I just need to hope that he can hold out for long enough. Come on, Brightmare, you can do it. This seems like a much more dangerous path than the other one. Hopefully, next turn, that guy will attack first. I don't think so, because I don't think that was the order they did it in before, but if he does, I'm pretty much safe, because no one else can. That's not true at all. Someone else can come over here and attack Hill, but still, it's not a terrible state of affairs. Point blank in a face. Still not enough to kill him. What good are you? So you can right now. Let's get Carl up the front because he's a bit sturdier than Emma. And he can give him a good beating. Um, I'm pretty much out of options now. I could move Emma forwards again, which I guess I might as well. Although the whole point was to move Carl around in front of her. But anyway. Death in three. Oh shit! You can hit Hill from there? And Captain Hill goes manic, but what use is doubling your points if you can't do anything this turn anyway? He's all webbed up and shit. Oh Christ, I think I'm going to lose. <laughs> oh no, I have some extra points. Enough to get one shot off. Or to step forward and heal, what's his name, if... I'm relying on it, you here, uh, Brightmere. You need to kill the guy that's in between them. So I'm pretty much relying on a critical hit now, then, I guess. Yeah, it's all gone to shit. <laughs> Next, he's going to become manic. Um, I 
guess if you point blank that motherfucker. I just... I'm not doing as much damage as I would expect. Maybe I should be putting more points into their weapons. That's probably the problem. That would only leave me with... Okay, that's fine. I was going to... Uh, consider attacking lower so that I'd be able to move and then attack again. But I couldn't move enough to attack fully anyway. Oh, shit. Bad choice of direction. Okay. Now, hill's going down. Might as well all keep attacking him, seeing as he's out this turn anyway. So why can't you miss like that when you're fucking attacking people who aren't about to go prone? If you angle this right, it comes out with some quite confusing figures. Death in 414. Go on then. Give him a good caution. Oh no, you can't do anything because of those fucking spiders. Come on then. At least she's only frozen. That's less bad. This direction is still doing significantly better than this direction, so I guess Sid's pretty much... So he was supposed to be going with Emma's party, but he's pretty much just stuck in between the two, trying to make sure they don't get themselves killed too quickly. You revive the captain. Who will then be shot and won't be able to do anything anyway, but still. And then do a tiny bit of damage. So these spiders are taking so much more damage than I expected. Uh, so much less damage than I expected. They have more overall, sorry. And yet again, Carl can't move, so I really wish I'd. Um, put him round the corner. If he'd walked a slightly different path, he could have got closer up. If I, if he'd gone up and then diagonally, instead of diagonally and then up. This whole crisis might have been averted, but no. I think, can you hit this? Because I really need to get there before... I really need to step forwards. Alright, come on, Cap. You've got first aid kit. Revive Newt. And it's not all gone to shit now. I mean, it's not great, but it's not all gone to shit. I'm, honestly, I'm more fussed about taking out that guy now, because he can essentially, with one hit, do the real disadvantage from the... And I do just about have enough. I didn't deserve to have enough because I didn't think about uh, action points before I shot. None of you guys can do anything, you useless sods. Well, hoping for him to miss twice in a row would be too much. Oh no, Carl's paralysed for a turn. That makes no fucking difference. He can never do anything. Right, so. Yeah, let's start with these guys. 28 will give me 22 for a second attack. Bright Mirror should be able to see him from here now. Yeah. That will give me 24 for a second attack. Ah, oh, perfect. Hurry up and die then. 
so I can go for the guy who's close at range, then what's his face can get his melee on. Well, how much? That does 12 to 16. That does 6 to 9. There's 45% chance to hit. 63% chance to hit. You know what? I'm just going to point blank shoot him in the face. Oh! <laughs> I was going to say the chance of miss missing is so small that there's no real danger to it. But... Right. You can take out this spider from where you are. If the shot does enough damage, which of course it won't. You might as well step forwards. Now it's doing 5 to 17. Right, if I step forwards again, that'll only be 36 to hit. Yeah, let's go for this fucker. We hate that fucker. They're the worst enemies so far by a long way. Alright, that turn started to get back on track. Honestly, I would rather that he froze what's her face, Emma, than finger me Carl. As I don't learn from my past mistakes, I'm gonna go for point blank rifle shot again instead of the two other shots which I could have done. Manic, fuck. Didn't he just go manic? Someone went manic recently. You don't have healing stuff anyway, so you can move forwards more. Brightmere just comes stand in front of him. So that you can heal him when he collapses. Oh, we That was quite inefficient because... Of course, just because he's gone manic doesn't mean he can't move. Right, I'm going to tiptoe forwards with them. Twenty. Uh, so you go forwards first, and then you come stand next to Brightmere, ready to be healed when you collapse. Hey, he didn't do enough. What? Oh no, you don't have enough left to actually hit anyone, though. So what use are you? Right, come on then, Carl. Show him how it's done. One step forwards will take me right next to each of them. And I'll be able to... His sanity's looking alright. Oh, it's because he's already had his paralysis, so he's back up to full again. Um, then you can step forwards. So you're one tile away for next turn. Sid, come chill here, where you can defend from all directions. Okay. Oh, he's still manic. But he will collapse after next turn then, presumably. Can I sit him next to this? This is possibly a bit of a foolish move. But if I do... Will he heal himself up when he falls? I doubt it. He's probably got to be revived. But it'd be interesting to know how the mechanics for that work, at least. Okay, you guys are all fine. Um, you might as well step on here, although I'm worried that it might trigger something. Oh, she's now useless, though, until the next turn.
Oh, fuck. Big onion looking motherfuckers. <sighs> Perhaps not onion, maybe they're more like the eyes of a potato or something. Um, either way, right, so you give your kit to Captain Hill. I don't know. Every time I fucking mouse over that thing by accident. Um, Hill, you go heal him. You come up and hide around the corner. <laughs> no need to be too brave here. Ah, but that worked out quite well. You perform admirably, Brightmere. That death animation seems to take so much longer than I remember. Just for spiders, I guess. But still. I guess if he's going to be on Overwatch, I might as well give him a worthy weapon. I wish I hadn't stood Emma on there now, just in case she's needed. I don't know what these big guys do, but they look scary. Although the spiders are lang. I'm not very down on my um, urban parlance, but I believe that's the sort of thing you want to be avoiding. That's it, Bright Mare. You show him. He's actually a lot stronger of a fighter than I was expecting this time around. Right, I'm going to keep going for the closest spider just because it's the closest. But I'm worried that the Onion King here is going to really cause problems when he uh, when he gets closer. It's like a slightly greener Alex Mercer. I didn't really like Prototype. Um, one of my sisters had it. It just felt too powerful all the time. Not enough strategizing and playing carefully and stuff and too much just... Well, all you have to do is jump and press this button and it'll tear apart a city block. You know what I mean? You get me. I guess just chill, Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch. If in doubt. I keep forgetting that there's that guy who I could just be shooting with higher accuracy. That's not bad at all, actually. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to come in and completely destroy me with double digit hits guaranteed or something. Mm -hmm. and of course, if I'd left Carl overwatching properly. He's doing a fair amount of damage there with his kosh. Maybe I should get everyone koshes instead of knives. It's good to have the lower uh, mana requirement, but... Not mana. I keep calling it mana. Lower action point requirement. But is it worth it? Right. Don't forget to put Brightmere's thing on, actually. Just now, before I walk into the gas and then get surprised when he gets hurt. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot that there was a whole group of people up there. <laughs> that was some pretty terrible play. Luckily, the AI's pathfinding is as bad as it is when it tries to do it for us as well. So. Paralysis is nowhere near as bad as the alternative, I guess. You beat that spider off. And 
then might as well take a pot shot at... Oh no, you can't hear him anyway. Um, you can only... Like, after you heal Carl, which is worth doing now so he still has the stuff, uh, the action points. He doesn't have enough left to do anything else. A couple of onions coming in from the top there. Right, I almost forgot about this team down here now. I'm going to have to mentally make sure I sound off on everyone before I move on to a different sector. Or a different turn. Okay, I think that's it for this area. But you're going to have to go stand in the f fog. So, can I move hill here? Next turn, move... Uh, is it Newt here? Yeah. Move Newt out. Move you in to chill there for a minute. Meantime, you guys defend up here. Yeah. That's probably not worth it. I don't know how many turns it takes. Just a sec. Okay, so if I move him out here, Brightmere can go there. Oh, it's pretty much a one-way path here. I might as well get Hill ready to charge through. Give him his gas mask. I don't think that's enough to go into it. So he can guard this side, I guess, which might be needed. Newt will stay on this side. Bright Mirror will go up through the middle. Over here... See, I didn't forget about them this time. And you two stay with Overwatch, so... When this stupid fucker comes around the corner... If he dares to walk up, Carl will give him a slap as well. Okay, they're generating enemies again, but I think it's going to be much slower now. The worst is over. As the sausage maker said when his factory went bankrupt. I'm sorry, that was awful. Fucking diagonals confuse the shit out of this AI. Pathfinding. Oh yeah. And there are guys up here who I did not forget about. I was just so confident I knew that if I'd left it, Overwatch would have taken care of everyone for me anyway. Okay, is this spider going to keep going that way? I can't make his mind up. One of these had to come for Hill though. Seventy-two percent, five to eight. 57% 4 to 8. So I really need to get rid of his fucking knife. Replace it with a kosh. Because a kosh for melee seems so much more effective. Can you... No. Brightmere. Can you... You can't shoot there for some reason. Oh, because you can't shoot a kosh. I might as well just wipe him out here, I guess. I mean, if it's going to be spawning two spiders around, that might have been useless, but it stops anyone getting hurt. If you stand here, Oh, I could have moved him there and shot through anyway. Over this side, we're all still good. Okay. Emma's been patiently waiting for so long now. 
They've got such a good Overwatch combo going on that I just don't need to worry about that quarter while the rest of the team gets themselves sorted. Their selves, themselves sorted. Thank Nodens, the mechanisms worked. Fate has dealt us a lucky roll of the dice and the passage is open. Captain Hill, can you and Sapper Brown secure it for us? Sapper Brown? We can indeed, Professor. Onwards, men. Who the fuck is Sapper Brown? I've got M Newt. Sid Brown. Not Sapper Brown. What's this bullshit? Okay, and I need to get here with Captain Hill and Sid Brown. Right. My arrangement isn't perfect for this because I kind of assumed it would always be. Um. I assumed it would always be Hill and... What's his name? So good old Sappy here is... I'm oh, sorry, I'm just a bit thrown by the sudden inclusion of nicknames. Uh, good old Sappy here is going to lead the charge. And it's those two we need to make sure we get out this time. Alright, I think that's it as far as movement goes. Everyone's got to go through more gas. Right, if you just chill here, Bright Mirror, you're going to have to stand next to that, I think. Nothing I can do this turn with any of the others. Okay. Oh, fuck. And more onions. I'm glad the spiders take damage, though, going through there. Can I just leg it with Sid? Would he have been better going over the top? Well, not over the top in the over-the-top sense. You know what I mean. in the way that you absolutely would not expect from someone in World War One talking about. That won't get me into the affected area. Good. So Brightmere's going to go chill by that. Captain Hill. Fuck's sake. Captain Hill is going to not have any problem getting through there. That must be why uh, Sid didn't get randomised, but G, what's his name, did. Because he's actually plot relevant. Not G, M. Newt. Whatever the fuck they're calling Newt. Right, so. Get a couple of... That was good. I wasn't expecting that. Get a couple of pot shots off to try and clear some of the path. Oh, Carl. You're doing your country proud, whatever country it actually is. I'm not sure whether he's supposed to be. I think... Was he an American? I can't remember. I think there are quite a lot of Americans in this game, considering it's... a British... Um, unit in World War One. But it's a great thing about wars, they unite people like nothing else. Okay. Uh, I might as well move here. It'll save me two action points on the next turn, but <laughs> every little helps. I need don't even know. That's, so that's that's one of those things where the advertising was quite good. I know that it's an advert for a supermarket. It wasn't good enough to let me actually remember which supermarket. I'm going to come stand here because if I end the turn in there I'll get hurt extra and I don't see the point of that. 
but basically I've just got to get Hill and good old city boy out this way. You point blank shot. 69 him. Right. See, the thing is, if I use Sid here, he can probably kill one of them. But then there'll just be more. If Carl charges in all gung ho like. That's much more like it. Manically deranged, fuck. Has he got... He does have a healing kit, so... If he needs it... Right, you can't step forward and hit, though, so... Ah, wait, if I leave you like that, you'll have Overwatch. Never mind, that was stupid. Sid, come as far as you can. I could probably be uh, micromanaging those points a bit better, but... How do you only have 24 points for movement? Oh, maybe because I looked at those guys first. Might as well take a pot shot from over here with Newt. Who has now been exposed as the most expendable member of the team. Can't touch Carl. I was going to do an impression of those fucking flash animated llamas, but I think it's probably in everyone's best interest that I don't even try. Wait, weren't you supposed to be manic? But he's got full sanity again. Oh no, it's you that's manic. Well, I guess, can you run over here? Yeah. Will you someone else to heal you? Don't get into Sid's way, actually. Did I do a stupid? No, that's fine. Emma, get as far as you can. Okay, this is actually going better than expected. I fucking hope nothing pops up to get uh, Captain Hill from round here because I'm just leaving everyone else here to guard the retreat. Oh shit. Speak of the devil and he doth fuck up your day. Um, I'm probably best off where none of them can see me. Newt, heal Carl. And then can you get through the fog? No, you can't. Bright Mare, you can. And you've been healing up for long enough. I just need someone else to be here, basically. If he steps around the corner, will he be able to shoot? Yes, that has no stamina left. So shoot him for 28. And then hop back around the corner. Look at that master strategy. The master strategy is just don't stand where people can shoot you. But I'm strangely proud of it anyway. You might as well go as far as you can because Sid takes no damage at all from that shit. Which is quite impressive really. He has like 99 on his resist stat or something. Something similarly silly. Okay, there's no point in moving anyone else in there though because they'll just get hurt out of it. Okay. And as before, it's better for me to shoot with Hill um, than it is to actually use his melee attack. So I really need to sort out his melee. You 
You, on the other hand, do have a a kosh, making physical assault uh, not much more viable. Never mind. Maybe I just need to focus more on stats then, and less on other bullshit. Newt, come on through. Only one damage each turn, that's not too bad. Emma. Oh, what will we do with you? This isn't in the gas, is it? No. Maybe those two can just stay there. They, they can just chill out for a bit. Okay. If it's going to turn around and say that everyone needs to get out, then I'm in real trouble. But uh, Right, so who's got what? Fuck. No one has healing stuff there. Carl, you've used yours, haven't you? No, Carl, you wonderful, wonderful man. So, Sid, you step there, and you can still shoot. Yes. Really working on making sure that I'm getting the best mileage out of everyone's action points here. Making them step exactly the as much as they can to still make sure they can get a shot off. Okay. Ah, wait, in fact, so then, Carl, you come down here, and then, Newt, you take this. Newt, you already fucking had one. Oh, what's wrong with you, you piece of shit? Why did you not tell me before? I was probably just looking at the wrong one. Okay. So, Newt, you give your shit to Captain Hill. Who heals Brightmare. Uses up the kit, but it's alright, because there will be another one in the middle of the pack in a second. Emma, you might as well come see what everyone else is getting up to. Oh, God! <laughs> I forgot to give her... So why did she not have her fucking gas mask out? <laughs> I'm going to blame this all on you now. So I can either heal her, or I can heal Captain Hill if he goes down. I'm more fussed about healing Captain Hill, to be honest. He's going to be... Like, he needs to finish this level. I can't get through it without him. So you shuffle this to Ah, uh, fuck it, you give it to Newt then. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> okay. If you can shoot from there, yeah. Then Brightmere should be able to step round here. Is there a flanking bonus? Well, I don't quite have enough to... Oh, you know what? I have enough to do that once and then to fire with the pistol once. Uh, I don't think there's a record of who's got what. But, Newt, did you just use up... Oh, no. Perfect. So, you give this back. I almost made him use it on uh, Carl instead of passing it back to him. Carl, you bring fucking face down useless bitch back to life again. Now you, woman, get your face mask on. Carl down here. Okay. 
As long as nothing else spawns, we should be fine. Sid, you want to be up here as much as possible. Rest of you don't really care so much where you are. I'll try and put them all somewhere where they can shoot and get them something ranged out again. Just in case they need it, but... They should all be fine. Emma's sanity is so much higher than it was a few minutes ago. Okay. <sighs> Please don't spawn anything else. I can't take any more of this stress. I guess these guys might as well shuffle along after them, see if we can get the whole team looking like they're going to come out, even though it's going to finish as soon as two of them get out. I guess this way, if it does turn out that the whole lot need to go... Oh, this would better fucking be the end of the level as well, actually, because if they all get there and it goes, right, you two have opened the door, right, the rest of us can leave. I don't think I can fight my way back through. Okay, look at that, all leaving as a leaving as a team. That's quite an inspiring Oh fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say that's quite an inspiring sight, but no. I might be pipped at the post here, and if I am I'll be livid. It's one thing to lose when you're a bit further away, but to lose just this close to the finish. So Hill, if you come Here. Oh shit! Sid's frenzied and no one has anything to help. Fuck! Right, then. Only hope. Get as many people as possible to the door. No, this isn't gonna do it. <laughs> No one got any healing shit? It better not be one of these two. No, fuck off, Carl. No one wants you. Oh. I want to see what Captain Hill has left. He's got zero points. And it won't no, I would not like to end this turn. Alright, he doesn't have any anyway. All sounds just dropped out now to make sure we appreciate the shittiness of this situation. I'm just hoping that there's someone else who will trigger the end mission condition by... Nope. That's it. It's got to be Sid, doesn't it? Why does Mania only give him 12 points? <laughs> oh, this is going to be frustratingly close. But no, that's it. Sid's going to collapse. And no one can heal him. I don't mind about these other guys getting killed now because it's going to make no difference. Come on, Sid, you can do it. No. Okay, that's mission over basically then, it just hasn't realised yet. Right, you just slap this fucker next to you. Don't shoot him. Punch him. Make him bleed. Bright mirror, any help? So sanity management, I didn't expect it to be quite as important as it has been. 
because that has just scuppered my mission. Come on, everyone's here apart from Sid. Guy kept pigeons for fuck's sake. No one's going to care what happened to him. Come on, Captain. Oh no, Captain Hill's ready to leave, so no one can do anything. Okay. Game over. Hurry up and realise it. I wish this thing could see that I have no health left. Everyone's just going to get slowly picked off. I feel like it's pretty much time just to end the episode, but I should really see it out just in case it realises that everyone else is here. Uh, how did I get to that screen? Oh no, and he can't do anything because he's standing in the corner. When you're standing in the corner, you can't shoot. Alright. Falling like flies now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought I'd got it. I was going to be so pleased that I got there on my first attempt, but no. One of your key characters whom the success of the campaign depends on has died. Now nameless horror will engulf us all. This is quite a cool sound. Music, whatever you call it. Surprisingly dramatic, even compared to the rest of the game. Alright, so for now, uh, I've been Jay Play. This has been uh, an unabashed failure, but also Call of Cthulhu, The Wasted Land. Thanks for watching.